Hi, this is a quick demo showing you the support we have in STS4 for editing Spring Boot properties. What you see here on the screen is an application properties file and it's open in our properties editor. We have two editors for this. We have one that works with the .properties file format and one that works with the YAML file format. I'd rather demo you the YAML file format because it's more interesting. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually convert this file into a YAML file. So we just do that by right click on this uh, properties file and select convert properties to YAML from the menu. And then it's going to show you what it's going to do. So it's going to transform this into this here. If you like what you see, all you have to do is click OK. And it's going to apply those changes to your workspace. And there you go. Now we have the same file, but now in YAML format. So let's have a quick tour of the features of the ML editor. The first thing I want to show is that if you hover over these properties, you get the documentation for the properties, which is nice. So you can just hover over any of these properties and see what they are for, what they mean. The second thing that it does is it checks the structure of your file. So for example, here you see that Eureka client enabled is supposed to be a Boolean. If I type something here that's not a Boolean, it will complain about that and tell you that's not what you expect here. It should be a Boolean. So let's make it a Boolean again. Um, similarly, uh, if I change this, for example, to something that's not a number, the same kind of thing happens. If I make a typo in a name, it will tell you this name is not as expected. Okay, so uh, we also have completions, of course. So if I type something here like app name, and then the completion will suggest similar things. So for example, spring application name or Eureka instance app name are things that are similar to what I typed and will insert them for us in the right structure. What's very nice about this editor is that it's smart enough to insert stuff in the right place as well. So if I, for example, want to add some availability zones to my Eureka client, then I can just select this property and it jumps right into the place where the other properties are for Eureka client and inserts it in that place. Um, so that's kind of the features of the editor that I wanted to demo. The next thing I want to show you is how you can also make this work with your own properties. All of these are just properties defined by Spring Boot. You can also make that work with user defined properties. So I did that here. I created a class to define some properties. The class is called welcome properties. And I just have to annotate that with an add configuration properties annotation and provide a prefix. Now, all the things that I define in here, all the bean properties, like welcome.messages and welcome.enable will be the properties that I'm defining here. There is a little yellow marker here, so let's hover over that. What it's telling us is that we should add something to our POM file to make this work nicely. So without that, there will be no metadata for these properties and the editor won't know that they exist. So let's add this, this to our POM. All we have to do is accept this little quick fix here, which is going to do that for us. So the quick fix added something our POM. Let's do a quick look at that just to see what it did. So I'm just going to do here uh, compare with head revision. And what you can see is it added the configuration processor to my POM. And that's what's going to make the metadata automatically appear in the class path. So now that we have this working, when we, what we did here, this should all work. So let's try. And if I say welcome with enable, and again, same support as we have for all the other boot properties. It's expecting a boolean here, not a string. So I have to type something like this. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is that we also have an editor like this in uh, VS Visual Studio Code. So let me open Visual Studio Code real quick and just show you that it works there as well. So if you see here, uh, hover over service URL, you get the documentation if you make a typo. You get a little squiggly warning and we have also got nice content assist here so let's see what we can do like for example jackson jackson date format yada yada and this is kind of where i want to end my demo i hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching the demo